What up, what up, what up, everybody? It's your boy Neo. I'm over here doing a uh, unboxing and review. I'm here with my son. You dip your head in there and say what's up. This is our first official double unboxing and review. You see, I got, you know, I always got my, my, my landing strip, you know. Uh, this is something I pick up this summer, but we ain't, we ain't talking about that. I got this little mini, and uh, one of these, the back, this one. The wire came loose. Made me mad, so I can't fly my little drone no more. So I was like, I want a drone to prep me. Because guess what? I got the uh, Diatone Crusader GT2 200 racing drone. FBV racing drone coming to the crib. They're custom building it right now, especially for me to be here. They won't even get done building it for another couple of days. And then, so to get ready, I was like, let me practice with a quad. I tried to get my quad. It's not working. I got my Ladybird. In this case, that the batteries, the lipo suck on it. You know what I mean? You see the ladybird right there. The lipos are years old and they don't work. But I couldn't use that. I was going to take my uh, FPV camera, which is upstairs. But one of the wires came loose on that, so I got a new soldering thing coming. But I'll handle all that later. Back to this. The Sky Viper V. 2400 HD streaming video. This is what I saw on Walmart. It was, uh, it said $68. But when we got to the register, it was $88. But it said $68. So I sent my son back to take a picture. He took a picture. $66, uh, $66, whatever. $68 is what they gave it to us for. Camera uh, moves around. It has, uh... Go ahead, Tom. Break it down. Tell us what we got here. It got auto launch, auto land. Uh, altitude, it stays in one spot like auto hover. They got a camera that moves up and down, as I just said. All that uh, it has stuff. bumpers just in case you're flying inside and you end up crashing into something. Which this we don't do camera. around here. Alright, so, you know I like to uh, cut it nice and neat. And, 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 and you know I like to have everything nice and neat. Because uh, a lot of stuff, a lot of aircrafts you get from Walmart you end up returning uh, like air hogs don't get air hogs anything from Walmart don't ever get air hogs anything from Walmart <laughs> ever so slide this bad boy out we're gonna this put this thing, in the back this look like when you first open an Xbox One this way alright so this is a light box so what do we got in here oh let's see See it. This is what it come with. This is what it looked like. Okay. Prop guards. Drone. This is the box to mount your camera on top of here. The transmitter slash TX or controller, what people call it. And let's get snipping. All right, question. What's the stuff at? Is that like the thing? That's it? Well, we'll get to that in a second. They give you options. They give you an option to have it like an Xbox controller or they give you the tips like a... Um, like a real transmitter. Uh, you can't reach that. Four channel. And my DX6 is upstairs. So oh, let me just disconnect all this. Launch, land. Careful not to, not to snip the wires. It comes with a JST Look. adapter. You guys who are really into RC need oh, to understand this. Oh, my son got his camera going. So it's the first double unboxing. Pound it up. This is first. how we do it. Um, I can't see what kind of oh, metal amp battery it comes with, but this is it. You know, I got pretty big hands, so you can compare it to my hand. I can uh, palm a basketball. Um, like I said, this goes on top of here. See these little things? A little, uh, what's it called? We'll put that joint right up in there. I think this is wrong, right? And uh, oh, clip it. Boom. Goes up. Put your phone in there. Uh, my phone is on Just the stand, but I got it. Yeah. My phone's on the stand, but I got my iPhone right here, obviously. And that's how you fly. Uh, instructions, prop guards. Try to get these off without breaking something. Go ahead, take that out. Prop guards. Let's try and get through this quickly. <laughs> we are already five minutes in, and um, we got some some taped up stuff. It's probably like the charger and maybe the stuff. All right, in here we got extra props, Good. the charger, 
And these oh, are the controller yeah. tips. So, like I said, you can either roll with, dump them out right here. You can have this kind yeah. of controller tip, like an Xbox, or you can have this kind of controller tip, like a real transmitter would have. Matter of fact, my Devo 7. I'm going to have to do these joints to got, Xbox. Yeah, my DX6 is upstairs, but my DL, Devo 7, you see how it's got these little grooves right here? These things stick into your fingers. And it's like, I don't know if you guys can even see that, but it's like little tiny needles. Now, my fingers are actually worn out from flying the simulator upstairs, but I'm using my real flight for that, not my, uh, my DX6. And a screwdriver. Got a little weight to it. Got some weight to it. <laughs> and these are the instructions. I don't know if you can see the this camera This little right packet. There. We are going to charge this thing up, learn some stuff about it, and I'll be back in a sec. Peace. Alright, we're back. We're out here. This thing actually looks pretty good. The app, you can play back, you can record, take a picture. I'm not quite sure what this FPV thing does. Um, it's splitting it into two. Uh, whatever. Uh, you got the battery percentage. It's at 100%. SD card. You can choose to record into a S directly to an SD card. Um, yeah, it's got a lot of stuff on there. You hook it up to the Wi-Fi just like I do my Phantom 2 Vision Plus. Only thing that's getting me is the battery is tilted down, which means you cannot race this thing at all. Sorry, I just hit camera. the, um, yeah, the camera. I just hit the, um, trim. As you can see, you can trim left and right. Um, you push the button to auto launch. You can hold this and click that and so you can launch it yourself. Uh, when you launch it, you click, it'll be like two feet off the ground. You click that to go a foot higher, a foot lower. Um, you got some flip modes, but the battery, the, um, camera thing is killing me. So, let's try this. Auto launch. Alright, it's out of the frame. Okay, it's a little high up. Now, mind you, this is Walmart stuff, so it's going to be a little bit hard to maneuver. Alright, click down. I got it right there, alright? My thing is this. I couldn't... This isn't my first flight. I couldn't get the throttle to really go high. Like right now, I'm at full throttle, and, and it's and it's and it's not even like. I mean, tell for yourself. I'm at full throttle, all the way up, and this is what I'm getting at 100 percent. Sorry, let me bring it back over here. This is what I'm getting at 100 percent throttle. Sorry. It's not even going up. And it's hard to work. So, I give it a big fat thumbs down. I'm sorry. Lands itself. I'm just going to give it a thumbs down. I am so sorry. With the camera being tilted down and it flying that way, battery's at 87% already. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. Thumbs down. I do not recommend this. Don't get it. Go back to Walmart to get something else. Peace.